After a long and hectic day at work, the last thing I want to stress over is dinner. A fast and flavorful solution is a sizzling hot skillet of chicken fajitas. I don't know about you guys, but I have some picky eaters at home, and even they devour this meal. The key to maximizing the flavor of this dish is to briefly marinate one and a half pounds of chicken first. We want to use thin cutlets, so you could either buy the chicken pre-sliced or it's really easy to do it at home yourself. For chicken breasts thicker than a half inch, cut them in half using a chef's knife across the center. This will yield a total of four sliced pieces. In a mixing bowl, whisk together a third cup lime juice, a third cup olive oil, two tablespoons chopped cilantro, one tablespoon minced jalapeno, one tablespoon minced garlic, two teaspoons soy sauce, one teaspoon lime zest, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon paprika, and a half teaspoon black pepper. Reserve a quarter cup of marinade. Place the chicken in the bowl with the marinade and turn to coat. Allow it to sit for 15 minutes, flipping over halfway through. The lime juice in the marinade is gonna help tenderize the chicken. However, if you let it soak too long in that acidic marinade, it's gonna get dry and mushy. Why? Because the proteins in the chicken are gonna start to pack together, squeezing out the internal moisture instead of staying inside the chicken. It's kinda like squeezing a wet sponge. Therefore, a brief marination time is all you need. While the chicken marinates, let's prepare the vegetables. I like to use a variety of vegetables for color and texture in the dish. Green bell peppers tend to be a little bit more bitter, whereas red and yellow are a little bit more sweet. I also like to add in some white onions because it has a nice balance of that savory and sulfurous notes Plus, they get a little bit caramelized in that hot skillet. Cut the vegetables into about a quarter inch wide slices for even cooking. Heat a large cast iron skillet over medium high heat. Once hot, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Shake off any excess marinade from the chicken, making sure that there's no garlic stuck to the meat. Carefully add the chicken to the hot pan. Sear the chicken breast without moving for three minutes, and then flip over. Make sure to cook the chicken breast until the internal temperature reaches 160 to 165 degrees. That's gonna take about three to five minutes. Let's check it. This looks good. Turn off the heat and transfer the chicken to a cutting board and slice into half inch thick pieces. Turn the heat to medium high and add one tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. Add one and a half cups sliced onions and three cups bell peppers. Saute until the vegetables are crisp tender, about three to four minutes. Add the sliced chicken and a quarter cup of the reserved marinade back to the pan. Stir to combine and cook until the meat is warmed through, about one to two minutes. Taste and season with salt and pepper as desired. Wow, this looks amazing and it was so easy to make. At my house, I like to serve the chicken fajitas with some warm tortillas and a bunch of different toppings so that my family can customize their meal. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It means a lot when you do. Right, time to make a tortilla wrap. Mmm, this is so good. You guys have to try this.